record, though. Mm -hmm. uh, we continue our team coverage this morning with Elise Haas. She joins us live. She has the details on what Multnomah County officials are doing to handle the heat in the long term. Elise, good morning. Good morning, Emily and Ken. So in the short term, like we know, the county has been putting together more cooling centers and spreading them out. They're testing out, calling households with emergency alerts. But I really wanted to know what are we doing in the long term and what are their conversations like right now to fix things in the future? And as the Pacific Northwest has been heating up and experiencing more frequently hotter days than residents are typically used to, the Multnomah County Director of Emergency Management says infrastructure can be improved to lessen the effects of heat islands, where buildings and pavement outnumber green spaces, making certain parts of the city, like the Central East Side Industrial District of Portland, even hotter. An example of a way he says to by creating rooftop gardens on buildings to naturally keep things cooler. We're looking at everything, the short, the midterm, and the long term. Um, and, I, and I think that uh, over the course of not just the next few weeks, we're, we're already making these changes, but I think over the course of years, um, you'll see changes implemented. And though infrastructure changes will take time and encouragement for building owners, in the meantime, he says the county is making quick fixes in logistics, communication outreach, and transportation to avoid a repeat of Oregon's unprecedented heat wave and the lives that were lost. For more updated resources from Multnomah County, you can visit their website. Reporting live in Portland, Elise Haas, Corn 6 News.